Here's the short answer, if that's all you came for. A grizzly bear is one of the many subspecies of brown bear, meaning all grizzly bears are brown bears, but all brown bears are not grizzly bears. That's the short answer. But stick around for a more thorough explanation because I'm going to cover a lot about bear species and taxonomy in this video that most people don't know about. Don't click away after hearing the short answer, please. Alright, let's freaking go. <clears throat> hey there and welcome back to Wild Primal, a channel focused on wildlife and ecosystems. My name is Sadat, I'm a masters in biology student at Miami University, an author and have been a lover, a lover of all things wild for as long as I can remember. Please give that like button a tap and let's get started. Now, isn't it frustrating when you're at a national park with your family or friends, you guys spot a bear, and a debate breaks out about what species it is? Is it a brown bear? No, that's definitely a grizzly. I thought brown bears were Kodiak bears. What's the difference? Worry no more. All of this will be explained. First of all, what defines a bear? To be considered a member of the bear family, an animal must have the following. Phylum Chordata, class Mammalia, order Carnivora, Family, Ursidae. The eight species of bears left on the planet, at least that we know of, are polar bears, brown bears, American black bears, Asiatic black bears, Andean or spectacled bears, panda bears, sloth bears, and sun bears. More often than not, subspecies of species are discovered. Grizzly bears are a subspecies of brown bear. Taxonomically, the category subspecies falls beneath the category species. Brown bears are the most widely distributed bear species on Earth. Again, all grizzly bears are brown bears. However, all brown bears are not grizzly bears. What I mean by this is that there are many subspecies of brown bears, and grizzly bears are one of those subspecies. Here are all the subspecies of brown bear that I know of. Kodiak bears, Alaska Peninsula brown bears, Eurasian brown bears, Syrian brown bears, the California grizzly bear, and of course, the legendary grizzly bear. The species listed above are all brown bears. They are subspecies of the umbrella species brown bear. If someone calls a grizzly bear a brown bear, they are not wrong. However, calling a grizzly bear a brown bear is a broad way to identify a grizzly bear. Because grizzly bears are just one particular subspecies of brown bear. They're separate from the other subspecies. I also wanted to mention that there are coastal brown bears and there are Kodiak bears. So for a bear to be a Kodiak bear, it has to come from the Kodiak Island Archipelago. For the sake of comparison, I will use Kodiak bears, another subspecies of brown bear. Grizzly bears and Kodiak bears are different in many ways. Their behavior, anatomy, diets, and habitats are not the same, as you will soon find out. Grizzly bears have adapted to life away from the shore. They are an inland subspecies of brown bear that have to work hard to find food. Some claim that this may be part of the reason why they are so much more aggressive than Kodiak bears. Grizzlies can be very territorial, and are sometimes in an extra bad mood due to being hungry. The last thing you want to run into in the wilderness is a hangry grizzly bear. Kodiak bears, on the other hand, are far less aggressive than their grizzly cousins, and this may be due to the abundance of food in their habitat. Kodiak bears are a subspecies of brown bear that have adapted to life in coastal areas. The islands of the Kodiak Archipelago in Alaska are home to most, if not all, of the Kodiak bears alive today. For a large portion of the year, Kodiak bears have virtually unlimited access to marine food, such as salmon. They are able to gorge themselves for a large chunk of the year. Kodiak bears do not have to work nearly as hard for food as grizzly bears, which is why their demeanor is usually calmer. They seem like lazy and content creatures. But do not ever think it's okay to approach or get too near a Kodiak bear for these reasons. Due to having easy access to food sources rich in protein and fat in their environment for thousands of years, Kodiak bears are a subspecies of brown bear that have evolved to become much larger than grizzly bears. Grizzly bears are almost constantly searching for food within their inland habitats. They expend a lot of energy digging for roots, searching for fruits and insects, and even grazing on the grasslands and meadows. The weight of an adult male grizzly bear can be anywhere between 400 and 700 pounds. Some outliers can go even higher. The weight of an adult male Kodiak bear can be anywhere between 600 and 1500 pounds. The standing height of an adult male grizzly bear can be anywhere between 6 and 9 feet tall. 
The standing height of an adult male Kodiak bear can be between 8 and 11 feet tall. You heard correctly, there are bears 11 feet tall existing today. Just for reference, these things would literally look down on the tallest man that has ever lived. And that guy was almost as tall as the Na'vi from Avatar. These coastal brown bears are huge. Grizzly bears also usually have hairs that are lighter at the tip and darker at the base, giving their coats a more grizzled appearance. Color, however, is not a good way to identify what species a bear is, because their fur colors do differ from individual to individual, even within the same subspecies. A grizzly bear's coat can be light brown or blonde, brown, and sometimes even nearly black. The anatomical differences are what should be observed when trying to identify the species. A clear difference between brown bears and black bears is that brown bears have that huge hump of muscle on their upper backs whereas black bears have a more flat back. I can make a separate video on this in the future. In the past, grizzly bears roamed much of North America, but are now limited to Alaska, Western Canada, and portions of the lower 48 such as Montana, Wyoming, and Idaho. Their range is always changing as populations fluctuate and bears migrate. The overall trend, however, has been a rapid decline in their range, relatively speaking. Kodiak bears, on the other hand, reside in the Kodiak Archipelago, a group of islands in southwest Alaska. They have lived here for the past 12,000 years, undisturbed for the most part. These islands have beautiful old-growth forests, rocky terrain, beaches, and lush meadows. The Kodiak bears thrive in this environment. It's literally a bear paradise. The geographic differences between grizzly bears and Kodiak bears have contributed to the differences in their diets. Grizzly bears live in forests, meadows, and prairies far from large bodies of water. They have adapted skills to find enough food from the land. Grizzly bears forage for fleshy roots, berries, wildflowers, and even grass. Very few predators are exclusively carnivores. Grizzly bears are highly omnivorous. You probably already know this, but they also love meat. They will tear open decaying logs in search of insects and small mammals. Grizzly bears love to consume carrion, or dead animals, and often target young or weakened animals. They've even been known to kill and consume small or weakened black bears and wolves. In fact, this isn't as uncommon as most people think. Black bears have evolved to have strong chest muscles that allow them to escape predation from brown bears by climbing up trees, something brown bears can't do, whereas black bears can, Again, I can actually make a whole nother video on that as well. Just know that brown bears sit at the top of their food chains. Kodiak bears, the subspecies of brown bear that is coastal and massive, have a very similar diet to grizzly bears. However, meat, particularly from fish, is a much larger portion of their diet. They will also consume plants, berries, and grass. Fish is plentiful in their habitat and they do not have to put much effort into acquiring it. During my stay in Bozeman, Montana, I took this video of a two-year-old Kodiak bear at a wildlife rescue place known as the Montana Grizzly Encounter. This bear is not fully grown and is projected to nearly double in weight within a few years. At only two years of age, he was already around 600 pounds. The young bear in this video cannot be released back into the wild for many reasons. For one, he was found orphaned in Alaska and has been raised in human care since he was a cub. He's associated feelings of trust with humans, and if he were to encounter humans in the wild, he would inevitably approach them, hoping to be fed or, you know, trying to interact in some way. His caretakers did feed him his entire life after all. This would almost immediately lead to his death as people would try to shoot him or kill him in fear of their own safety. Here's an image of a young grizzly bear I saw at a wildlife park known as Yellowstone Bear World in Rexburg, Idaho. I was told that this young grizzly was 400 pounds. He was projected to cap off at around 600 to 700 pounds. In this image, he's searching for food and treats that his caretakers have hidden throughout his exhibit. This is to stimulate natural grizzly bear behavior, such as using their incredibly powerful sense of smell to search and find food. I hope you learned enough to understand what the difference between calling a bear a brown bear and a grizzly bear is after having watched this video. 
I loved making it, and I wish to post educational content like this in the near future, so stay tuned. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I made this video because I wanted people to learn more about brown bears and Kodiak bears, but also because I wanted them to learn more about bear species in general. Because I believe the more that you know about an animal, the more that you can grow to appreciate it. Leave a comment down below to let me know how I did, and if you haven't already, give this video a like. Also, my book, Iconic Animals of the North, is out now, and the link for that is in the description of this video. If you want to, you know, start reading it, you can start reading the, the sample. The sample is completely free, and you can start reading it right now by clicking on the link, the Amazon link in the description of this video. All right, guys, until next time, and remember, keep it wild. God dang, I almost tripped. Can't, like, bring my fist close to it because I feel like I might tap it. If I tap it, I'm gonna ruin the angle, and this this angle took a long time to to set up. Keep it wild. Umbrella species, brown bear. Of course, I hit the mic right when I killed it. I wonder if this pimple is visible right now. My name is Sadat. I'm a master's in biology student and an author, and a blah 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 blah. That's what I am. Mm, that was weak. My name is Sadat. I'm a master's in biology student. Bro, the improvement here is kind of kind of exponential. It's not even linear. All right, I got this, I got this, I got this. Can't make my smiling muscles get tired now or else I can't smile as I talk. Nobody likes that. It's horrible for attention. Hey there, I'm Arthur Morgan. Hey there, 10 million views. I want nothing less. I need to get like a New York accent down pat. I think that will help me. <laughs> okay, hold on. That looked kind of really bad. Please give that like button a tap and let's get started. Boom! Dunzo.